हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट के सीई एलिजिबिलिटी क्लासेस फॉर 2024 एंड दिस इज ऑन विच यू विल बी गोइंग फॉर द डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन प्रोसेस सो दे हैव गिवन डिफरेंट ऑफलाइन एंड द ऑनलाइन मोड ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन बट इट्स बेस्ड ऑन कोड्स सो बेसिकली लेट स्टार्ट एलिजिबिलिटी कोड ए इज बेसिकली फॉर स्टूडेंट हु हैज स्टडीड इन कर्नाटका any education institute located in state of karnataka for minimum 7 years period so if you have studied 7 years in karnataka karnataka including your class 12th then you are basically eligible for the class a right so that is um, the top most choice for, you know and candidates must have appeared either sslc which is class 10 or class 12 from karnataka so one of those two and 7 years if you have done you are eligibility class a student now if the candidate has passed and either class uh, pu first year or pu second year in karnataka right and um, they from any karnataka institutes and either of parents have studied in karnataka for minimum period of 7 years then you are eligibility class b so in this case you have not studied in karnataka for 7 years but your parents have studied in karnataka for 7 years then you have eligibility b class you are domicile of karnataka now third one either candidate or parent right either candidate or one of parents mother tongue should be kannada so either you should be speaking kannada mother tongue or your parents are having mother mother tongue as kannada tulu or kodava and either of the parents should be domiciled of karnataka right so such candidate should have passed the qualifying examination from university or board or any other institution location uh, located outside karnataka so you can study from anywhere outside karnataka but your parents should have been from this mother tongue and they should be domiciled in karnataka then you are class c now let's move to code d which is a candidate whose mother tongue is kannada tulu or kodava who also resides and studied for period of 7 years between first and the 12th standards in disputed kannada speaking area of south solapur or akaljot or jat or गांधीगंज तालुक्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट और कासरगोड होसर दुर्गा तालुक्स इन केरला स्टेट देन दो स्टूडेंट्स शुड राइट कनाडा लैंग्वेज टेस्ट एंड देन दे कैन क्लेम कोड डी व्हिच इज एलिजिबिलिटी क्लॉज डी सो नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन केस द कैंडिडेट हु इज द सन और डॉटर ऑफ द डिफेंस पर्सनल राइट हु वर्क कंटिन्यूसली इन कर्नाटका फॉर मिनिमम पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर ड्यूरिंग class 11th or class 12th of the child so a parent are continuously working in karnataka when they were in class 11th or 12th then those students are also eligible for karnataka karnataka domicile code e the candidate should have studied and passed the qualifying examination from any government uh, or any government recognized educational institute in karnataka and one year minimum they would have should have studied now let's move to the f so this is also for defense son or daughter of a serving defense personnel from karnataka who at the time of joining of the defense has declared his hometown in karnataka and proof of such domicile should be obtained from producing obtaining the extract from ags which is army headquarter right respective branches of integrated hod or ministry of defense for officers and respective record officers so if you can get this proofs then you are also code f eligible candidate now in case a candidate who is a son and daughter of a defense personnel who had served in karnataka for the at least one year the officer is also posted in duty in the field or active service and whose family is permitted by defense authorities to to continue to stay in karnataka so such candidate should have studied and passed in qualifying examination from any government or government uh, certified institution so they are then eligible for the code g right eligibility class so now moving forward code h is also for ex servicemen son or daughter of the ex servicemen 
who at the time of joining the defense services has declared place in Karnataka as their hometown and they should pr provide proof uh, of a domicile such as produced by Deputy Director, Department of Scenic Welfare and Result Res Resettlement, right, of that particular district. Then they are able to claim basically Code H for as their eligibility criteria. Now moving further, Code I in the case if a candidate belongs to son or daughter of an employee of a union government of Karnataka state undertaking or joint sector undertaking who is eligible to be transferred anywhere in India as per the terms and condition of his employment and has worked in Karnataka for minimum period of one year during the class 11 or class 12 of that particular student. So such candidates has passed the qualifying examination from any institution located in state of Karnataka is also eligible. Now code J that is for son or daughter of a working or the retired employee of a union government or employee of a union or Karnataka state government or joint, sec joint sector undertaking where such employees has declared to be the employer at the time of joining service any place in Karnataka to be their hometown. So son and daughter of those people can claim code J. And B part of the J is that has studied in any government or government recognition institution in Karnataka for a minimum period of seven years and was liable to be transferred anywhere in India. Right. So that is the extension of J clause. Now let's see the clause number K or code K son or daughter of member of parliament MP elected from Karnataka further the candidate should have passed the qualifying examination. Uh, in a bo in a city or board, any other place located in India. So there should be children of the MP, member of parliament. Next is the code L, son or father or of a serving or retired employee belonging to Karnataka IAS category in all India service of Karnataka cadre or Karnataka state government cadre also who has served. Uh, in a service outside of Karnataka during the period where candidate has studied class 11th and 12th they can claim the code L now and there is class B also there where Karnataka government who has served in outside the Karnataka during the period first and the second standard but uh, parents have seven years of ed education now come to code M this is for son and daughter of a Jammu and Kashmir migrants a proof of migration is needed to be produced from jurisdiction, district magistrate and deputy commissioner of any state in India. Then you can claim the Jammu Kashmir migrant status, code M. Then the code N is basically for candidates having 10 years in Canada medium from class 1 in to class 12 in places outside of Karnataka need not appear for Kannada language test, right? So those students can claim N and O is for son and daughter of a working retired employee of a central armed police force CAPF who at the time of joining CAPF service has the declared the, the home time as a place in Karnataka and they should have that uh, domicile proof right from the records office of CAPF unit then they can claim this as clause. So that's all the classes which I wanted to cover and based on eligibility, you will be able to join for the document verification. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.